This past summer, my daughter Elise went to horse camp not far from our house. Every morning we got up early and took her to a private farm and she had the time of her life. The air smelled of leather and oats as we stood in the barn where Elise would drop off her lunchbox. And one of these mornings, out of the corner of my eye, I watched as another young girl was being taught how to place the bit behind her horse's teeth. As she pulled the bridle over its ears, the lady that owned the farm explained that the bit was very important because it allowed the rider to slow the horse down or to steer him or her to the left or the right. A horse's bit, like the human tongue, is small but important. Both have great influence over something big and powerful. For the bit, it's a horse. For the tongue, it's our words. And I would add both typed and spoken. Our words can run in different directions. With the tongue, we praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse human beings, James 3 and 9 tells us. Unfortunately, the Bible also warns us in Luke chapter 6 and verse number 45 that it's very hard to control our speech because words spring from our hearts. Thankfully, the Spirit of God who indwells every born-again believer helps us grow in patience, goodness, and self-control. As we cooperate with the Spirit, our hearts change, and so do our words. Profanity turns into praise. Lying gives way to truth. Criticism transforms into encouragement. Oh, taming the tongue isn't just about training ourselves to say the right things. It's about really accepting the Holy Spirit's guidance so that our words generate the kindness and encouragement that our world needs. So today's Monday Manna is this. Be the change your community needs. Use the right words.